earlier this week, I was doing uh, devotional there at work with a, a friend of mine, and, and we were going through Acts, and uh, I, just, I just want to read this real quick. Now an angel of the Lord said to Philip, go south to the road, the desert road, that goes down from Jerusalem to Gaza. So he started out, and on his way he met an Ethiopian eunuch, an important official in charge of all the treasuries of Kandaki, which means Queen of the Ethiopians. This man had gone to Jerusalem to worship, and on his way home was sitting on his chariot reading the book of Isaiah the prophet. The spirit told Philip, go to that chariot and stay near it. Philip ran up to the chariot and heard the man was reading Isaiah the prophet. He said, do you understand what you're reading? Well, how can I unless somebody explains it to me? So he invited Philip up and came and sat with him. And, he, and this is the script, the passage of scripture that the eunuch was reading. Uh, he was led like a sheep to the slaughter, and as a lamb before its shear, it was silent. So he did not open his mouth. In his humiliation, he was deprived from justice. Who can speak of this descendant? For his life was taken from the earth. The eunuch asked Philip, Tell me, please, who is the prophet talking about? Himself or someone else? Then Philip began with that very passage of Scripture and told him the good news of Jesus. And they were traveling along, along the road, and they came to some water, and the eunuch said, Look, here is water. What can stand in the way of me being baptized? He gave the orders to stop the chariot. Then Philip and the eunuch went down into the water, and Philip baptized him. When they came out of the water, the Spirit of the Lord suddenly took Philip away, and the eunuch did not see him again, but went on his way rejoicing. So Philip was transported like 30 miles away, and he just went on sharing the gospel. But the eunuch, this one kind of gets me too, he was about 2,800 miles away just to go to Jerusalem, just to hear the word. And then immediately, he was like, I need to be baptized. So, congratulations, you guys. Way to follow through with what God's telling you to do. So, I'm going to go down the line, and you guys are going to tell us who you are, and if you got something to say, go ahead and do that. Okay, I'm really nervous, but my name's Lily David. And today's really, really special because it's my dad's birthday today. And <laughs> I tried not to look at him because I know he's going to start crying because he's baptizing me today. And yeah, it's really special for me today. I've been waiting a long time. <laughs> I'm Casey Keck, and I'm just ready to start this new chapter with Jesus. And it's special for me because this is my best friend, so, and I'm, she's making me emotional, <laughs> but yeah, this is my name is, my name is Michael Butler, Christina Butler, my son had me come here with me, him, my name is Cole Stevens, all right, So if you guys are like part of the families and stuff, go ahead and come up here, okay? We, we want you to be part of this, so.
anybody else. Anybody else. We're here. 